The Transamerica building is a defining symbol of San Francisco. Built in 1972, its futuristic look quickly made it one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. Now the future of downtown San Francisco may have to rely on its $400 million renovation, which also includes the two surrounding buildings. This renovation, $400 million, is really a testament to not what was, but what will be over the next 50 years in San Francisco. The plan is to make the Transamerica Pyramid Center the heart of downtown, transforming the area into a neighborhood within a city. That it has a nightlife. Part of that is having attractive ground floor destinations, restaurants, uh, other visitor opportunities, and part of that is having a 24-hour presence of people who live there. The media, the pundit, the real estate professional said San Francisco is dead. It will never come back. We lift the shovel, I guess. Michael Chaveau didn't believe any of them and purchased the building during COVID. This is me and my sister actually here at the base of the building. His love for the Transamerica Pyramid began during a visit to San Francisco in 1979, when he was only seven years old. Through the years, many more people have come to admire the structure from above and below. The Transamerica building has also been a favorite of many of us news reporters because who wouldn't want to go to the top to record what we call a stand-up? Notice how I'm not standing? That's me in 1999. Climbing 3,200 feet to the top of El Capitan is like climbing the Transamerica building in downtown San Francisco four times over. It's always been ahead of its time. The city has been ahead of its time. And together with the people of San Francisco, we will bring back downtown. The city hopes the building's new purpose will help redefine what urban living should look like. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.